in Adobe InDesign, if you haven't got all the skills how to create your own buttons with different states, then don't worry, there are some sample ones built into the software. Now firstly, you need to set up InDesign correctly, which means using the interactive workspace. Go to Windows, Workspace, and make sure that Interactive for PDF is selected. This gives you some options which are very useful. Now on the right here, we've got a button saying Buttons and Forms. Click that, and we have this window open. What we actually need is the Sample Buttons window. This is hidden away. We go to the section just here and click that. We can see sample buttons and forms. This gives us a whole selection of buttons which we can use. And I'm going to just drag, let's say, the blue one into the window and the green one into the window. Minimize this and minimize that. And then I can just place these wherever I want. Let's just put it like that. And they're ready for the next stage where I'm actually giving them actions. But let's take a look at the videos for now. But now, so click on the blue one, open buttons form, and you can see here that we have the appearance has normal and rollover state, which means that when you put the cursor over it, it's going to appear slightly different. Now, I'm going to show you in the next video how to actually increase the interactivity, but if that's how you put your sump buttons inside InDesign if you haven't got the time to create them yourself.